with their loved ones. So Adam Pellick's going to be the first shooter. And a little backhand from Pellick. We do not have a streak started yet. So just a quick reminder. Next up, Sebastian Ajo. And he popped it wide, so first save starts at Zach Wolensky of Columbus. Stopped by Campbell. So there's what Kevin was talking about. Campbell gives up the first one. Vasilevsky shuts the door. Now you got to get a collective streak going. 33 goal score. Cheeky from Chris Kreider. Everything's going in this year. Oh, man, it's that kind of year, isn't it? That's something Kreider would probably never do on a real breakaway. That's one you don't want to be embarrassed on, eh, Kev? That's but... right. That's right. Look at how much Vasilevsky challenges. No other goalie does it like him. Tom Wilson stopped by Vasilevsky, so now they'll try and get that streak going. Jake Gensel's a sniper, and he scores again. And the speed coming in is a tough read for the goaltenders. Guys aren't coming like they normally would be. A lot of change of pace. And there's what I meant with Vasilevsky. Those long legs and stayed with that one, able to get a piece of it. So Claude Giroux, there's a stop. So the captain Giroux is stopped. So they continue on here and a chance to get a streak going. Bellic lost control, so it's three in a row now. Jack Hughes was just asking advice from Joe Pavelski's son. So we'll see if he has something this next attempt. So their longest streak is standing at four and see if Vasilevsky can keep it going. That's five. Up to five now. Five in the solo competition in 2020. Jordan Biddington won. Here's Kreider pulling off another trick shot, but that would stop. <laughs> That's going to be the later one, eh? the trick shots, but Kreider's having a good time here, isn't he? Yeah. And Kuznetsov <laughs> tried to flip that over top, but that didn't work. It's going to say Biddington won with 10 straight saves in 2020, and now they've got it going. Tom Wilson getting booed here right now by the fans. Obviously, they remember that rivalry with Ryan Reeves. Nine. A little too casual here the last few times. It looks like the goalies are getting hot and settled themselves in. Yeah, that one does stick through, so nine will be the total in the same streak for the Atlantic Division goaltenders, Jack Campbell and Andre Vasilevsky. Next up is Jack squaring off against the Atlantic Division. Your Metropolitan Division goalie. Yeah, here's that play. As you said, Kevin, that's one that, man, you in a key part of the game on a penalty shot or a shootout, that's a tough one to try to pull off. Well, well that's why this event is so hard for the goalies because you're not getting high percentage opportunities. You're getting guys that want to have fun, maybe try a trick shot, entertain the crowd. And how do you really read that as a goalie? All right, Nowhere near the usual timing coming in and trying to read all smiles across though. There's your three Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, yet another year where they have three members of their team representing at the All-Star. Yeah, the three pillars are, or three of them, there's a lot of pillars on that Lightning team. I'm sure Vasilevsky wouldn't be laughing if that was a real goal and Kreider had put that one in. How about the year for Frederick Anderson? Man, what first year in Carolina has just been Dynamite lights out, and here's a tandem with Tristan Jari from the Pittsburgh Penguins and Frederick Anderson from Carolina. Well, the Marshall family poses for the pictures that will be kept forever. Well, here's the leading score to start things off for the Atlantic against Tristan Jari, who was a replacement in another All Star game, said so this is more special being named. And they get started with a stop, Dylan Larkin. Beats Anderson. Kevin, that seems to be the thing. The, the backhand sort of casually try to go five ball. I've seen about five guys try it. And yeah, Nick that, Suzuki a, looks slick. That embarrasses the goalie when it goes in, guys. <laughs> Goalies don't like that move, and it's such a high percentage one as well. Now you wonder at what point do the goalies just stay out? Not a lot of speed. And oh man, there's that quick release by Stamkos right over the block. Vintage Stamkos. Asmus Dalin stopped by Anderson, tied for second in the NHL and wins with 24. Kachuk misses the target, so two in a row. Patrice Bergeron goes to the backhand. And 
ends that little streak. And Austin Matthews, if he scores, it's done. But Jari stops it, so the goaltenders stay in. Now they reverse order. Huberto stopped by Anderson. That was almost a little gift save there. Is short little shot, but that one ends it. So yeah, Larkin ends it. A difficult time for Anderson and Jari. Just two was their best save streak. So the Atlantic shooters help out the Atlantic goaltenders. Absolutely, do they ever? And here's the guy we saw last year in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Slick again, Nick Suzuki, a Vegas Golden Knight draft choice. Oh, and then it's, isn't it great to see Steven Stamkos having a healthy year, 52 points on the year. He's been looking like the old Stamkos, and Bergeron just calmly there gets that. A lot of forehand, backhand, you'll see. See Suzuki's goal that you, you just showed there. What, what's that, Simmer? Is that the Datsu? Is yeah, it totally. To it just frees you in a little flip. Yeah. It makes the goaltender, as you mentioned, a little embarrassed there, but he freezes him and just puts it up and over. Well, there's Cam Talbot. Another good year for the Minnesota Wild with 18 wins. Cam led the NHL and wins back with Edmonton with 42. Oh, great to see him back and competing. Got his 30th win this year with the Wild in just 49 games. That's second best in franchise history to Devin Dubnik, who did it in 42. At the other end, uh, UC Saros is one of the real stories. Uh, is he ever? Great goaltender, not huge in stature, just 5'11", but man, is he ever hang in there and he's having a fantastic year Here we go. in the best of conversation at the midway point jordan everly to start things off and a save registered by talbot adrian kempe against saros and that puck bounced on kempe a bit so out of the gate with two straight stops well, you can see with both of these you know they're having a chance to watch the other goaltenders. They don't look like they're coming out as much. They're just staying, not trying to overreact as guys are getting cute with all these little nifty plays and not much movement from these two goaltenders just standing their ground. And five saves later, they look good. Zegers actually tried to flip that puck up on his stick and it didn't quite catch. So look for him to be even a little bit more creative with his next one. Mark Stone, the hometown favorite, stopped by Talbot after they Goal by Dreisaitl to stop the streak at five. And now on the backhand, Petrangelo is stopped. Jonathan Marcheseau will be the ninth shooter. And he scores, so it's done. <laughs> well, they're going to let Meyer continue. I think the streak was done, but the five yep. to begin was a great start, and then the shooter's able to shut the door, and Connor McDavid, although he is the captain, isn't going to go, but why not give him a try anyways? They have an extra man yeah. on the Pacific team, which is why Marcia saw the addition. I think they're telling Connor that he can't go. <laughs> so, uh, I think they probably could have fit him in the top nine if yeah, they, yeah, if they tried. Right. That would have been an idea. Cam Talbot's not going to complain about that. Yeah. Joy Terry, one of the most dangerous scorers this year, couldn't fool Cam Talbot. And there's what Kevin was saying there. He was thinking about it, wasn't he, Cub? He tried to do the flip move up that you saw him score in Montreal last week, and it just didn't quite catch. He did it one-handed in warm-up yep. pretty easily, so surprising he didn't execute that one. You and I could have, Simmer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was Interesting to listen to Alex Petrangelo talk about Marcia so getting an opportunity here and he and Stone and the uniqueness of being in your home building and being a part of an all-star game with their head coach as well. Well, what do, you, what do you want to hear from him right now how it actually feels? Sure. Jonathan. Yeah. How does it feel to be at the all-star game in your home uh, town? Uh, it feels great. Obviously, a lot of fans and a lot of people uh, know me. 
Who do you have here for uh, kids? Which ones are yours? Pardon? Which one? Kids here. Which one are yours? Uh, that's my number one, number two, number three, number four in the stands. Have a good weekend. Thank you. So the Atlantic Division goaltenders have the lead. I go back to 98 with this when it was a single competition and Dominic Hasek put on a show in the All-Star game and it was significant because a month later they went to the Olympics and you know what kind of show he put he on there. He was pretty good at that, wasn't he? Recent winners, Marc-Andre Fleury with Vegas in 2018, but again, team competition tonight to hear the Centrals shooting on Thatcher Demko and John Gibson Clayton Keller able to pull off the bars and out rolling Alex to break it he'll score to snap that modest streak well we've talked about how good a year it's been for Kadri but Gibson has that answer this guy's not bad either but can't beat Dipko. Again, Kevin, don't you think it's more difficult for the goaltenders because guys kind of aren't trying and coming in slow, and it's it's hard to get a read of what the guy's going to do to you. You really have no idea. Like that move right there. Right there. That's, let the puck go the old Kucherov, <laughs> but both these goalies look pretty dialed in right now, actually. I think Jordan Kyrou's having a pretty good night, huh? Yeah, he's okay, fun they too. need a stop here. Uh, Pavelski. And they get it to Stay alive. Sniper is Kyle Cotter, but it's a three save streak. They need nine. And they won't get it. Little shout out to Thatcher Demko. I obviously live in California, and he's the first California based goaltender to play in the All Star game. So. He's uh, trailblazing right now for a lot of kids that are playing hockey in my neck of the woods. He's doing a great job of it. And Kevin, you know all the pressure that came with taking over the reins in Vancouver and having the playoff rounds that he did, and it's good to see him off to another good season. Demko with that amazing December, just as Bruce Boudreaux took over with the Canucks. Seven game win streak. How about Jordan Cairo? And back to Kevin. Well, Thatcher, on a scale of one to ten, how fun is that? Yeah. yeah I mean, you're just not too sure what guys are going to come up with. Uh, it's fun. I'm sure they'd like to try these in the game sometime, but, um, you know, now's the time to think, try some stuff out and see what works. Trying to entertain the fans, right? Sell the game. That's what we're saying. Like, you're prepared for a guy to do a real move, and then they come in and they flick the puck last minute. Like, how do you how do you read that? Ah, uh, you don't. You just put a smile on your face and hope you get a piece of it. Um, Kelzer had a nice little backhand flip over the blocker, which was a uh, cheeky, you know. <laughs> I just mentioned first California-based goalie to make the All-Star game. Great job. You're trailblazing for a lot of kids. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's an honor. It's something that uh, you know every kid dreams about being a part of, and. Um, you know, hopefully kids in California motivates them and inspires them and hopefully we see some more kids coming up from there. Great job. So the winner of the save streak, Jack Campbell, along with his athletic division partner, Andre Vasilevsky, as they registered nine consecutive stops on a night where usually it's the scorers who take center stage.